What's up guys, it's your homeboy Daniel from Tiny Studio Production and today as our guest we got the amazing photographer Fred Silva. Mr. Fred Silva. And as my co-host today we got Charlie Main. I mean Quest Black. <laughs> it's good man. How are you doing Fred? I'm doing great Danny, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thanks brother, how's uh, 2020 been treating you? You know, uh, considering with uh, considering everything that has been happening going on, uh, it's been good. So, I'm very blessed, can't complain. That's good, brother. I got a few questions, and uh, Quest is gonna be jumping randomly as well. So, my first question is, how long have you been passionate about photography? So, uh, do you recall those disposable cameras where you would put in that 35 millimeter film, and you know? Ooh, you know, taking it back and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking it back so it's uh I, i've actually you know been very passionate uh for uh art uh, i used to draw and paint you know airbrush uh back when i was in high school and um i started picking up you know photography at first uh i had a disposable camera you know take pictures i remember one time went to the zoo took some pictures and then came back and started drawing uh, but then when uh, I moved on to college, uh, I actually bought a, uh, a camera. My first camera was a Minolta. And uh, I bought it as an excuse. Well, actually, I took the class as an excuse to buy a camera. Uh, and that's where, you know, I would say uh, photography photography got a little serious. Uh, I, um, I, I started doing it as a form of art rather than just go out there taking pictures. So when you went to college, you didn't, it, this wasn't your major. You weren't my, my major was, uh, at the time was art advertising. Oh, okay. okay. And, uh, but I took a class because I, I loved it. So, so you use sweat money again to buy a camera? I, I went to a pawn shop. I, I bought a used camera and, uh, it was 80 bucks back there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome, bro. I thought, I thought, I thought you were going to say you used your financial aid or something to, <laughs> to buy a camera. Yeah. I, was like, I bought my first computer with my financial aid. <laughs> financial aid. <laughs> Woo! I remember yeah. those days, bro. I, I bought some woofers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not the only, you're not the only one, man. You're not the only one. Valley Hollis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what has been your favorite location to photo shoot? So, side of the road. You know, uh, I, I love sunsets. That's, you know, that's my favorite. And uh, back, uh, I used to work in Raymondville, so I used to drive maybe about 45 minutes, you know, to get to work. And um, early in the mornings or late in the evenings, you know, I would see the sunset, you know, either rise or, or, or go down. And a lot of times when there was a beautiful sunset, I would literally, you know, I used to carry my camera just to be able to capture, you know, the, the, uh, the, the sunsets. And I would just pull over on the side of the road and just, you know, bust out the camera and take a picture, you know, uh, take a picture of the sunset. That's badass, bro. The, I love, like, the sound, the sunset because you could do, like, lately that I've been shooting music videos, I've been doing a lot of, like, silhouettes. So you get, like, the shadow effect with the front of the sky, you know, like, the sun going down pretty badass effect but a lot of times I, I didn't just take a picture of the sunset like if I knew I had time or you know because the sunset you, you don't realize how fast the sun is moving until you see it set and uh, I would always look for you know a tree or palm trees you know uh, to have in the foreground uh, rather than just having an empty sky unless the sky was amazingly beautiful then yeah you know just take a picture of the sky so a question I want to ask Cause I mean, I used to do photography and I let it go for a while. Um, in your opinion, is light the most important thing? Like sun, is it real important? Lighting, period. Lighting, yes. For photography, yes. And it depends on what you're gonna shoot, how uh, lighting is, is. I mean, it's gotta go side, side to side, you know, with uh, photography. Cause I remember we did a session one time, uh, it was for Chicano Life magazine, and um, you had this like huge umbrella of a light, and I was like, why, why do we really need this? Like, and he even told me he's like, the lighting, you know, it's gonna help. And sure enough, I mean, his stuff was amazing. Amazing, it came out incredible. It was a good session, man. Yeah, the thing is, when you shoot in direct sunlight, you get some harsh shadows. So, uh, if you, uh, I mean, if 
you like that, but uh, it's gonna create some harsh shadows like on the nose, the eyes, you know, on the face. So, yeah. All right, Whataburger or Panda? <laughs> Whataburger. Okay, just making sure, man. <laughs> not, not a huge Chinese food. Oh, man. Yeah. Seafood? No. Oh, Unless man. Shrimp. Okay. Unless shrimp. All right. All right, bro. So, who has been your favorite model to photo shoot with? So, I remember it was uh, last year, actually, August, uh, around the beginning of August. Uh, I remember I. I um, I asked you, Danny, one time, you know, I said, hey, you know, if you ever shoot, you know, Elizabeth Fox, that's because, you know, I had looked her up on Instagram when, when you had told me, you know, you, you had recently done a photo shoot that I missed out on. And I told you, hey, when you, uh, you know, take pictures again, you know, let me know. And it was literally a, a week after, uh, I remember it was September 11th, we went out there and we shot, you know, with uh, Eliza. And ever since then, I mean, we've we've done you know several quite a bit of photo shoots, and uh, you know it's it's she's been amazing to work with. So you know, yeah, bro, your, both of y'all's work together is very. Uh, it's a good combination. Yeah, good combination. And man. she's a very beautiful person inside and out, very humble. And I like how you don't have to uh, direct her; like she already knows her poses. You know what I mean? That, that out of all the people that we've done photo shoots with. Yeah. Usually, like, remember, Quest, like, we have to get on Google and let the person know how to stand. Like, Eliza knows her shit already, you know? So that's what's bad. I mean, it's not a bad thing because nobody really, you know, yeah, knows how to do it. But with when it comes to Eliza, she got it down, man. And yeah. I haven't yet to meet her, but I, from what I hear, she sounds like an amazing person and an interesting person as well. So hopefully she's, I get to meet her one day. She's awesome. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite part to edit on a photo shoot, bro? So it, it all depends, you know, if because um, I, I, I love photography, I enjoy doing photography as art, you know, and it's something that, you know, that I enjoy doing when I want to do it, you know. Uh, so if it's something that I'm going to edit, uh, especially because I want to do it, you know, it's going to be the face. And, and it's funny because a lot of times, you know, I ask people, hey, you know, do you want to shoot? And it's mainly because, you know, they either have, you know, beautiful eyes, you know, uh, lips or, you know, smile. And back when I was in high school, you know, I used to draw uh, a lot, but faces were very hard for me. Uh, I've only done maybe a handful of faces that uh, I'm pretty proud of that you can say, hey, it looks exactly like the person. Uh, but because that was probably the biggest challenge, I, I love, you know, um, shooting you know portraits and and that's probably the best you know part that i like to uh photoshop you know like on the editing side you kind of have to study a little bit of the makeup right when it comes to editing the face so you can know what tones to adjust and all that or no uh somewhat i, I look more into the the skin you know try and get a, a clean you know skin like during during a session and like if, when you're taking photos and you like happen to mistakenly not see something like a clothing malfunction when it comes to editing is it a hard job to do or you know how does that work yes and no some can be very simple and then some can take you know a little more work because uh you know you don't as a photographer you don't unless you want it to look like it was photoshop you don't want to you know make it seem okay it was photoshop so yeah a lot of times you know the hardest work is when you are trying to make it look as if you know that was the actual picture and it has never been photoshop i remember when we did the eric Vallis photo shoot at gibson park with billy daniela upchurch and angel so Armin, to danny and, and freddie you had to remove billy from the back yeah how long did that take that was uh, crazy yeah, so that, that one didn't take a whole lot. No. Uh, the hardest part is when you have to, if let's say somebody is, example, I, I got one that, you know, I'm going to work on where somebody's missing a complete arm. Oh. So how do I put, you know, the arm back in place and make it look like, you know, it belonged there the whole time and nothing happened. So like you're saying, like, this person doesn't have a, an arm. So 
there's a, a, a picture where it's a group picture, but somebody is no longer in the picture. So I got to remove them. But oh, okay. in, in the picture, you know, the, the guy is actually covering, you know, someone else's arm. Oh, okay. So okay. how do I remove, you know, the other person and yet still make the picture look like, you know, that's, sounds that's like how a, the picture That sounds was. like a challenge, man. Yeah. Something right. like that is, uh, is a little more challenging. All right, but so what's your favorite camera brand? For DSLRs so you know I'm not picky <laughs> I, I started off you know with disposable <laughs> cameras <laughs> and uh, hey you know my first camera like I said a Minolta $80 at a pawn shop so uh, and, and at the time you know 35 millimeters uh, and I remember one of my wife's aunts was like Fred you, you got to go digital and back then i didn't believe in digital because you know we had cameras that was like two megapixels 2.5 three megapixels and i'm like there's just no way you know you can compete with with an actual film uh but then you know eventually uh i went in uh with canon uh and that was back when circuit city was closing here in McAllen. circuit city so yeah that was a long time so that's where i bought my first uh digital camera it was a canon and I've stuck with Canon because, you know, I, I bought, you know, a couple of lenses and uh, they get pricey. It, it, it's very expensive to buy lenses. And so it, it you know, you don't want to be changing brands and have to start all over again. You know, if, if you got to buy everything all over again. Uh, but recently I, I bought a Sony. I got an, uh, a Sony A7 and um, I love it. Uh, so I don't know, you know, I haven't bought any additional lenses for it, but, uh, I, I do plan to. So can, can you more or less give like a combined total of what you spent on camera equipment mm. an estimate, like a random estimate? Uh, I, it's, it's been thousands. Uh, I, I can't tell you. Wow. <laughs> hey, bros. Financial aid? So, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> My wife's going to get after me. <laughs> But, but I've, heard, I've heard about Sony that you don't really have to worry much on the ISO. Like it's their ISO settings are like way different from some of the other brands. It's it's pretty good. But, you know, I can tell you that I still go out there and bust out my Canon and I use it a lot. So uh, I've gone I'm very used to my Canon. So, you know, I've I've adjusted to it and the Sony, it's, you know, fairly new. So I, I got to learn how to use it yeah. uh, rather than, you know, uh, yeah, I still gotta just. I was freaking out with uh, when we did that last Christmas photo shoot that you let me take pictures of your camera. How when you look into the actual uh, viewfinder, viewfinder, bro, like it's insane. It's it's digital, you know. Yeah, looks it's very clean. live. Like wow, bro. Hey, Fred, a uh, McFlurry or a Blizzard? Blizzard. There you go. Yeah, and I like the uh, what flavor? The Hawaiian. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what it that's is. A good one, bro. So what's your favorite lens, bro? I probably still don't have it yet, <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know. Right now, the, the ones I have, uh, it all depends on what you can shoot. Uh, but I love shooting, you know, sports out there. I, I've been shooting, you know, some uh, uh, women's football and men's football. And um, I have a, uh, a Canon, it's a 100 to 400 millimeter. Uh, and I, I've used that one quite a bit, so I love that lens. Shouts out to the Far Phantoms, man. Oh, yeah. The bad, badass football team. So, besides photography, bro, I know you're into the arts. Uh, what's your favorite style of art that you make? So, there's no actual, you know, style rather than just my own. Uh, and even when it comes to photography, sometimes, you know, uh, with photography, um, I like to see, you know, I, I, I like to make it be the way I see things, not always, you know, for what they are. So sometimes if you see a, a flower, like on my Instagram, you know, that's not how the flower actually, you know, you can see it uh, out in, in, uh, in nature, but, you know, I make it look artistic. Uh, and that's just, you know, more colorful, vibrant, and, and that's just how, you know, I, I want to see things. So I, I'd say that's my style of art. Uh, and, uh, but back then I, I love to, I used to do airbrush, so I love that. And, um, I, I get, think the last, 
work that I did was back like in 96. Uh, so it's been a while. Uh, but, uh, so I you used, get airbrush? I used to love uh, to airbrush. We were yeah. just talking about that the other day, weren't we? Yeah. Oh. We were talking about the other day. Bro, I got that guitar up there. That was my first guitar from high school. Um, maybe you could airbrush it for me. Just tell me how much and just go go crazy on it. Some Fred stuff on it. <laughs> if you're down. Fred Silva stuff. From Fred, yeah. Um, so what's your favorite software to edit with? Uh, Photoshop. Uh, I love uh, uh, Lightroom. Uh, you know, there's I, I have several that, you know, I use. But uh, I love Photoshop because, you know, uh, like if you've seen, you know, like some of the pictures that I've had, like on Instagram or, or my Facebook uh, of the uh, Far Phantoms, and you can see some of the work that I've done there. Uh, a lot of it is in layers, uh, and you can just combine, you know, a whole lot of stuff uh, so with fun. Photoshop and just create, you know, a work of art. Yeah, man. Uh, and, and that's what I love about it. So it's I not like a lot of people will be like, hey, can you, can you make me skinny? So it's not about that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, but I just love, you know, uh, the the um, combination of what you can do with Photoshop. It's funny. It's funny that you mentioned the the Far Phantoms game because I saw a clip. You almost got hit. Yeah. You <laughs> almost. You, they almost ran over you. Yeah. It's it's happened a couple of times where I have to, you know, get out of the way quick uh, or move. And uh, yeah. Man, that's crazy. So, bro, um, have you collabed with any magazines? With your phot photography, so I have I've had some pictures, you know, in a few uh, magazines out there. Uh, I know even in Mexico there was one that had some of my wrestling pictures. Uh, but currently, right now, I've been working with uh, you know for uh, Robert Reed uh, with his magazine, uh, Extreme Magazine of Texas, and uh, and we've done you know a couple of photo shoots this year. So uh, that's that's what I've you know currently been working with i think you you did one for quest too right for yeah for chicano life magazine yeah. um out of california this is the man man yeah. if you ever need a good photographer this is your guy right here man does amazing work so fred any advice for the new photographers that are starting so a lot of people you know well not a lot of people but i've had several people ask me like hey you know uh i want to get better you know what do you do and the first thing they ask is what settings do i use and th there's it's very hard you know to say you know it all depends on the lighting where you're shooting and stuff but the only advice that i can give is practice you know I i've been shooting for quite a while uh, i can't say hey i'm the best uh, but i'm pretty proud of you know some of the work that i've done uh, I definitely want to get better. So, you know, I've seen some of the work that I've done from just last year to today. Uh, actually, I was, I had shared with uh, Eliza a picture uh, just recently that I edited uh, from the footage shoot that we did last year in August, I mean, September. And, uh, you know, what I did then to now is completely different. So just in a year, you know, I've been able to better myself on, you know, how I edit some of this picture. So best advice is just you know practice keep shooting you know and whatever you know you see hey you know next time i gotta do it this way or that way and, and that's how you you know become better just practice dallas cowboys or the philadelphia eagles <laughs> uh, i don't even know why that's even a question dallas cowboys, cowboys or the philadelphia eagles it's, it's cowboys let's go cowboys. redskins this sunday let's go <laughs> I, I was going to mention, bro, like, I don't think me and Quest mentioned it enough, but we are very grateful with you being part of our movement. Grateful and, the music. and blessed. Yeah, bro, it's a blessing, man. I really appreciate you uh, collabing with a lot of the local artists. Besides you doing your photography, you know, uh, style with sure. models, you're coming in with us, doing the events, collabing with different artists. Like, we, we're really grateful with you, brother. You're one of the main reasons for the Eric Valles movement, because without your photography, there would be no promo. So thank you, brother. God bless you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. Yeah, thank you. So look, it's something I enjoy, so I love it. So, you know, I don't, you know, it's, it's easy for me because uh, I enjoy it. So, What's the stupidest question you've ever heard as a photographer? Like... Somebody come up to you ask you the most stupidest question. Oh man, stupidest just question. stupidest question. 
Because the, re the reason why I'm asking is because I'm looking at this article. It says the stupidest questions that photographers have to hear. So you answer if it's annoying, if it bothers you or not. Question one, what camera do you have? <laughs> is that an annoying question? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, because, you know, a lot of people, yeah, they ask, you know, hey, what camera do you use? And, and don't get me wrong. I've asked the same question. <laughs> do you use Photoshop? Is that another question? Yeah, I mean. I am just starting to learn what camera should I buy as my first camera? That, that's a hard one because cameras can be pretty pricey. You know, if, if, uh, if you're willing to spend, you know, two grand on the camera, but, you know, most people are not. They don't want to even spend 300 bucks. So, yeah, I guess. <laughs> can you add some makeup in Photoshop and make me thinner? As people always ask. People always. Really? Yeah. A lot of people. Man, dude. Not the makeup part so much, uh, which you can, uh, but uh, make me thinner. Yeah, I mean they say camera add pounds, right? I'm I'm, I'm fat it is right now, but I'm saying like, what do they say? They say camera adds a few pounds or pictures. It's not pictures, it's camera, right? Yeah, oh, the camera. You add a few pounds. Taquitos yeah. add video. Pounds. Video, okay, yeah. Hey, you got more questions? Or? Um, what are the correct settings for night shooting? I, that's that's a tough one, Damn. and it's a tough one because you know a lot of cameras don't have you know the 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 uh capacity to shoot you know great in low light but actually you know i've looked into that into the cameras that, that i bought you know um as i've progressed that's what i look for in the cameras that i buy okay you know uh, how high can the iso go and you know which is the better camera for low lighting so i look at that myself when when i decide to you know, see what's going to be my next purchase. It's crazy, man. So, brother, what are your plans for 2021? So, I hate that, you know, with COVID, it's pretty hard, you know, be out there and taking pictures just like, you know, before, like normal. So, that kind of sucks. But uh, I've been, you know, watching some YouTube videos and, and uh, just trying to get better, you know. I, I can do that from home. So, I get on my computer and, you know, just mess with some work. I go Throw back to some of the older pictures, pull them up and edit some stuff throughout your whole journey as a photographer like what's the farthest you've gone to take uh like photo sessions like travel wise? yeah travel wise what's the farthest you've gone uh not too far though uh it, it's been mainly just here uh but one thing that i've done is when i travel you know f uh for work uh i remember one time i did ask someone hey you want to you know shoot pictures so I've tried to, as, as I go out there, you know, and travel and I'm in a different city, uh, if I can find somebody to shoot, you know, I'll do it. Awesome. So, where can people reach you for photo shoots and prices? So, usually it's, uh, you know, through Facebook, my Facebook, Fred Silva, or my Instagram, Fred underscore 306. Apple or Android? Android. I got them both, but <laughs> Android. Oh, yeah, man. Android. I'm Android, but it's kind of when you're asking Mac or Windows. I've, yeah, I've, I've always, thing. you're in more control with Windows and Android. Apple, you got to do everything through them. But because of it, it's very stable, um, faster. Um, their quality is very good. I just like, I, I really like the AirDrop when it comes to uh, Apple. It comes real and handy, man. I really like AirDrop. So any last words, Fred? Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to all those uh, cell phone photographers. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, shout, Slap. Out to, shout out to you, Danny. You know, uh, it, it's been, you know, fun, you know, being able to work with you and, you know, appreciate, you know, what you do. I know that a, a lot of what you do, you know, uh, comes from you, you know, you're not getting paid for a lot of this. So. Uh, you've been out there, you know, help a lot of people and a lot of times, you know, I try and do the same uh, I see some people that are out there hustling and you know, hey, if I can help out take some pictures, you know I I'm gonna reach out to them uh, But uh, appreciate what you know everything you do Danny. I feel the same boy same way, bro And I feel like the three of us are the same breed. That's why we work really well together Always putting in that work man. Don't sleep on the hustle. You already know how it is 
Any words, Quiz? Shit, man. Um, like I said, don't sleep on the hustle. We're always doing this. Just back to back. Keep on going. Never stop. All right, brother. This concludes my third episode with uh, Fred Silva Photography. Quest More Blacker. Coming. And uh, hope you all have a safe, you know, following next year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Um, and more more shows going to be coming and just much uh, music, peace, and love. Much love, y'all. All right. Thank Deuces. you, Deuces.